Okay, uh, I'm back with part two where I'm going to transform the Valkyrie into its girl walk mode. So, let's like quickly adjust the camera and get ready. So, first you need to get rid of all the way in the gear and such. Just take off that panel and then replace the panels from the first part that I took off. Just peg them back in, like so. And then okay, so the first step is to, hmm, actually, I don't remember the official way to do it. Okay. Ah, yes, that's what you do. Okay, so first, what you're supposed to do is just kind of wiggle the legs because they'll extend, like so. You can see that extra joint in there and here. And then you just bend the leg forward, like so. Do the so, same with the other side, which, uh, lifting up the wings, which we go up on a hinge will really help so you can actually see it better and then you just wiggle it out and then you bend forward and you notice that the kneecap actually bends in towards the leg since it was like this to it like this so that's pretty interesting and then you need to lift up this leg panel right here by just wiggling it upwards, lifting up, and then you there's this tab right here and you lift it up, which allows you to pull down the ankle and you just close that back down. And then you fold this wing in like so and then you just close up the panel. And that's it. Okay, there you go, like that. And then you just open up the feet. Like so. And you have a done leg. And then you just do the same with the other side. Panel up. Just gotta wiggle it out. There we go. And then same little tab. And you pull down the leg. Should hear a clicking noise unless it's a different model. And then you open up the feet. And then you pull down that flap, close it back down, and then push it back in, and the legs are done. Okay, so I like to uh, separate the legs from the main body by wiggling them out. Okay, I can knock off the radar dish too. That works. And here we have the legs out. Then next we fold in the wings. This is hard. Keeping camera. Eesh. Keep folding the wings like so. And then we fold down these tabs. What are these wings? Tabs, what am I thinking? Fold up the wings and then fold these things downwards because they're on a hinge and ball joint to the uh, thigh. So you just fold up and pull down like so. And then what you do is you take off this this piece will be which will be the shield like so. And then you take off this double hand which is connecting the arms together like so. And then I'm just gonna pull out two hands for use later. And then you just detach the arms from the bottom and then swing them forward on this hinge this hinge right here swing them forward like so and then swing the other one forward like so and then get it nice and tight and then after that you're supposed to get the joints a little bit farther from the body like so and then swing the arms down 
Let's see. Oh, I'm supposed to do this part first. Lower the main section of the body. And then, after I'm done with all this mess, you just push it back up. Um, there. My arms are getting tired. And then, that's it. You just fold this up, bend the arms any way you want. And position the legs. Try not to unfold the body. Fold down the wings, fold out the wings, and then you can do this too. And then you just adjust the legs accordingly. And here we have the girl walk mode. And you just get these two hands, they plug in through ball joints. And here we go. Here's the uh, Valkyrie in its girl walk mode. That took quite some time. And then something I forgot to mention in part one was that for the colors, um, this is normally just clear, and also is this. But what I decided to do is that um, since the ghosts had the clear green, like I mean clear yellow, they had clear yellow parts, like so. I thought I'd have the uh, Valkyrie follow along, and it looks really nice. Um, I didn't, I didn't have any black paints or anything, so I used Sharpie or yellow paints. So I used Sharpie, and then I, I attempted to make the outline of the cockpit patch black. You can see Luca in there. Um, that's about it for the cockpit part. So, that's the girl walk mode, and honestly, the transformation is probably a lot simpler than I made it look. I probably made it look like the most difficult thing in the world, but, uh, yeah, it's a lot simpler if you get the hang of it. You just have to, um, know what you're doing. Anyways, uh, you can still attach this action base attachment, which fell off earlier, by simply, uh, just hooking it under, like so, on this little part right here. Just hooking it, and you peg in to that slot. And then, there you go. And you can just put him on his action base. And there you go. One girl walk. Although his legs are kind of stiff when he's in girl walk mode, so I don't keep him in this mode very long. There you go. Anyways, uh, might as well introduce his one real weapon, his machine gun thing. I don't know what it's called. There's a green sticker here and a red decal here. And then, uh, basically, the only thing it does is that the handle can move back and forth. And then you can extend the barrel and pull this down. So it's like in firing mode or something, whatever. I really don't know what it really is. Uh, this is pissing me off just a bit. Okay, so they can just slide the gun in his hand because it just slides in. And he's holding his gun. He holds it pretty good, I guess. Um, it's a tiny bit loose. And you can just have him flying around with his gun. And, yeah. That's it for the transformation. I uh, look forward to a review of the Girl Walk mode, which is in part three. So, uh, yeah. See you guys then.